Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something really exciting in the AI world. You've probably been hearing a lot about DeepSeq R1 lately, and trust me, the hype is real. We're finally seeing an open source model that can go toe to toe with the big closed source players. But here's the thing, most of us, including AI enthusiasts like myself, don't have those beefy GPUs needed to run these models. That's where the magic of model distillation comes in. Thanks to the hard work of researchers, we now have more accessible versions of models like Llama and Quinn. In this video, we're putting two of these compact powerhouse head-to-head, DeepSeq's 14 billion Quinn Distill and Microsoft's Pi 4, both running an 8-bit quantization in Olama. Let's see how they stack up against each other. First up, let's grab our models. Head over to Olama library where you'll find both the DeepSeq R1 family and Pi 4. It's super straightforward. Just click on the model you want to explore further. Now, DeepSeq R1 has quite a few variants, so click View All in the drop-down menu and look for the 14 billion Quinn Distel Quantized 8 version. Then do the same thing to grab Microsoft Pi 4, if you haven't done so already. With both models ready to go, we're going to tackle and see if Quinn Distel works with function calling. Here we have our Pi 4 function calling service, and we're going to use the Granite code, as we did in the previous video, to test Pi 4. As you can see, we have configured our Granite project to use the Quinn model. Let's run it and see the results. Since the model is not loaded, the startup will be slow, but we will fast forward. Okay, now we can see that the model is done, and we have indeed called our functions. What is interesting is that we have the thought process of the model as its reasoning model. So we can say that it can handle structured outputs. I did have to modify the code for the service and do one more check in order to get this working. Now let's take a look at how both Pi4 and Quinn respond to a couple of questions. The first question is for Pi4 and it's a simple logic question and the answer is three sisters. Pi got this wrong and then we asked Quinn and it also got it wrong. On the next run, I modified the prompt by having a few shot and more instructions specifically about having multiple areas of thinking, reasoning, and finally responding with an answer section. This is to see how the model will follow the prompt. Pi4 got the answer correct, and it followed the structure we outlined. Next, I prompted the Quinn model, and it also got the answer correct, but it did not follow the instructions. By following the schema outlined in the prompt, it also has its own outline of thinking. I was quite surprised to see how many tokens it used to generate the response. Next question I asked Quinn, and it's a reasoning and a bit of a math. Unfortunately, Quinn seemed to keep going and self-correcting, and it seemed to have been stuck in a loop, and I had to stop the process after several minutes. Pi4 didn't have any issues answering the question correctly. Now let's take a look at the Hugging Face LLM leaderboard and see how the two models compare. In terms of the average score, DeepSeq R1 achieved 35.53%, slightly surpassing Microsoft Pi 4, which holds 34.25%. This suggests that DeepSeq R1 has a marginally better overall performance across various benchmarks. For the IF eval, Microsoft Pi excels with 67.51%, which is significantly higher than DeepSeq R1's 43.82%. This indicates that Microsoft Pi 4 performs exceptionally well in inference evaluation tasks. Regarding the BBH, Big Bench Hard Benchmark, Microsoft Pi scores 55.24%, which is significantly ahead of DeepSeek's R1's 40.69%. This suggests that Microsoft Pi 4 is stronger in complex reasoning tasks. However, when it comes to mathematical reasoning, the math benchmark, DeepSeq R1 outperforms Microsoft Pi with a score of 40.86 compared to Pi 4's 12.31%. This is a drastic difference, indicating that DeepSeq R1 has much better mathematical capabilities. For the GPAQ benchmark, DeepSeq R1 again leads with the 18.34% compared to Microsoft Pi 4. 11.63%. This suggests that DeepSeq R1 has better general problem-solving abilities. In the MUSR benchmark, which measures multi-step reasoning, DeepSeq R1 also performs significantly better with 28.71%, whereas Microsoft Pi lags behind at 10.13%. When analyzing the MMLU Pro, Microsoft Pi 4 has better performance with 48.65%, 
outperforming DeepSeek's R1's 40.74%. This suggests that Microsoft Pi 4 has a stronger grasp of professional and knowledge-based tasks. If you'd like to compare our different models, you can head over to Hugging Face Spaces, Open LLM Leaderboard, and compare any models and get better detail of the differences. The choice between these models depends on the intended use case. If strong inference capabilities and general knowledge are a priority, Microsoft Pi 4 is the better choice. However, if the focus is on mathematical reasoning and problem solving, DeepSeek R1 Distal Quen 14B is the option for you. Now, we tested both models quantized, so there is a bit of loss, not much, but it could have been enough to see the results we noticed. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me on this journey and of AI learning. If you like this content, please like and subscribe for more videos.